How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we got another video here on the key crock. This one is going to be how to firmware restore or upgrade your firmware on the key crock. Now this does require that you can still at least get your device into arming mode. Um, if you can't do that then this process is not going to work for you. Um, you're going to have to do a factory reset first and I'll link you to that video because I have one on how to do that process. So you'll see that maybe in a little note above here. All right. So to do this, you're going to go ahead, this is just an extended USB port to the back of my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this guy in. And we're going to go ahead and let it go through the entire uh, boot up sequence that you're seeing right here. Okay. Once the light goes away, um, actually, it won't go away because we don't have a keyboard plugged in. It'll stay white. So um, once we're at that point, we'll know that the device is fully booted up and we can actually put it into arming mode because that's the first step in doing the firmware restore slash upgrade. So here you go, we're at a white LED. So um, I'm gonna use my paper clip, which I've created with a little kick, kick in it, which I think is easier than a SIM ejector tool, but you can do whatever you want. So I'm gonna flip this thing over, put my little paper clip in, hold it for one, two, release it, let it flip back over, and you're gonna see that this is flashing blue. That is arming mode, and now the key crack can be seen from the computer, and we can start this firmware restore. So let's go over to my computer. So here we are, guys, on the computer, and um, we need to go ahead and finish this process. So what I'm going to do is going to bring you right here. This is the um, directions from the official website on how to do the firmware update or um, restore on the key crack. Now, this is pretty simple to do. Um, basically, you're just going to click this one, download the latest Keycrack firmware, and I think it's going to automatically download it for you here. Um, the other thing you can do, is, and I'll link this as well, is you can come over here and you can see, you know, the latest two stable uh, firmwares right there, okay? So, we just downloaded 1.3, alright? And I'll link you to both those so you have both of them. But these are the directions, right? Basically, download the firmware, connect the Keycrack in ARMING mode, which we've already done, copy the firmware to the key crack. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So here my key crack is connected and basically all I got to do is go to downloads, copy this, copy, and then paste it in. And that is going to go ahead and copy the firmware um, from uh, that download right there right into the device. Now this is very very critical that you do a couple things. One, do not rename the download, okay? Um, its naming um, architecture is specific, and if you rename it, it may not actually do the firmware update correctly. Also, it's in an archive, um, or an archive or a, a zip format, right? And let's actually look at it again. It's in a tar.gz, okay? So, which is an archive, right? And um, we got to make sure that it stays that way. If your computer like extracts it and then copies it to the root of the key crock, then that's going to be a problem. Okay, so it's really important. Don't don't extract the archive, and do not um, you know do not rename it. So those are going to be my two most critical steps. The third is obviously this needs to be put in the root, right? The root of the key crock, which is the base file system right here. So it should look just pretty much like mine. Um, you may not have exact all these things, but when it ends up, here it is, right? It's right next to the upgrade HTML, which is actually really nice because if you launch that, it brings you right to those upgrade directions, right? So, but if you can't get into your key crack because it isn't working right, that's not going to be too helpful for you, right? Because they're stored right here in the key crack in arming mode. Um, so it's pretty nice. There's some good things in here, but it should look like this. It should be right next to the upgrade HTML. Right there, same thing, not like in payloads or, you know, anywhere else on the device, okay? So from here, all we're going to do to do this upgrade, very, very simple. Let's go back over here, right click. We need to safely eject it. That is always critical when you're doing these. Always safely eject the key crock um, from arming mode. So we're going to say eject. And everything is good here, so we should be completely fine. Um, actually, we're going to be done on the computer. The rest of it is going to be done here on the key crock, so let's go do that. Okay, so we are safe to um, unplug this guy, so we're going to go ahead and unplug him from my computer, okay? And then to do this next step, very simple, right? Plug it back in. 
All right, so what you're gonna see now is these LEDs, and they're gonna change. So instead of doing a normal boot sequence, what's gonna happen is they're gonna do this. See, looks like uh, lights on a siren or a police vehicle, right? It's um, red and blue, red and blue, red and blue. Basically, anytime you see red and blue on a key crock, it means that you shouldn't unplug it. <laughs> um, that's what it's doing. It's like saying a warning, warning, don't unplug me, okay? Because what's happening here is you're getting a full firmware restore taking place in this key crock. And if you lose power in the middle of that, it could totally mess this thing up. So it's very, very important that you let the red blue flashing continue until the firmware is restored. This process easily could take, um, you know, we're looking at five to 10 minutes. When it's done, as long as nothing's plugged in, you will end with a white light. And if the white light or white LED stays lit, for you know probably a minute you're safe okay and if you plug in a keyboard and the LED goes out then you know you're hundred percent firmware upgraded or firmware restored that's the process now once this does finish blinking you're gonna see a full beat boot sequence on the LED lighting and then you'll see that white light so we're gonna let this go it's gonna be quite a bit and we'll come back to it when it finishes all right guys, the uh, firmware restore has just completed and it's now taking the device through its initial boot sequence. Um, and you've seen that probably many times before, um, doing everything, connecting to Wi-Fi, whatever it needs to do. Now, um, one of the reasons I've used this um, restore feature is because I have messed up um, the Linux operating system on this device before where something wasn't working right anymore, maybe it wasn't key logging correctly, and being able to do a restore like this is excellent. That means that um, you can fix all that stuff that maybe you've tweaked and screwed up in, in the Linux operating system and get it working back to basically factory, right? Or just like I said, updating the firmware to a newer firmware than maybe what's on your device. So either of those is going to be quite nice. You can also look at your firmware version or version text um, on the device and it'll tell you what firmware you're on. So you can either do that through SSH or you can put it back in arming mode and you can look at it that way as well. So a couple things about that if you need to know what firmware version your key crock is currently on. You can see we are, are on that white LED. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in my keyboard to the crock. There we go. And if everything is working correctly, there you go, the LED goes out and we have a firmware restored or firmware upgraded key crock. So that is the process, guys. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you do, um, please give me a big thumbs up. Stay tuned for more videos on the key crock. We're covering a whole bunch of stuff on it, and you'll have a full course here to uh, use this device and be trained up on it. So I'm pretty excited about it, and I um, hope you guys are too. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. We'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out.